Hi guys, it's Kendrick. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated version of how I package my Depop orders. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow my Depop, the link will be down below, and let's get into the video. So because of quarantine, it's been a little bit hard to get inventory for my shop, but this week I've sold two items in a bundle. It's this CDG shirt and an Obey sweater. So this is going to one person and they paid almost $100. So I'm going to be putting a lot of extras in their package. First, I'm just going to fold up my items and make sure that they're as flat as they can be, but also in a good shape that will fit in my package mailers. Now I'm just seeing which package mailer would fit my package best. I have two types, a smaller one and a larger one, but because this is a hoodie and a shirt, it's gonna have to be the larger one. So now let's get into the extras. Again, as I said, this customer paid almost $100, so I do want to put in lots of extras to show how much I appreciate the purchase. So I have my little candy box here, and I'm going to put in some of this gourmet gum. I love this gourmet gum, and it's so cute, and it's perfect for packages. And I'm also going to be adding two little Jolly Ranchers. I also have a bunch of stickers here, so I'm just gonna look through it and choose a sticker that I think would match the package the best. I ended up choosing these little sunglasses ones, I think that they're super cute. I also love putting these little hand sanitizers in the package, I think it's such a cute touch and it's so important to keep clean these days. The next thing I'm preparing are these little clips, I definitely need to buy more because these are very popular with orders, and so I'm just taking it off the original packaging, and then I'm looking for a cute piece of cardstock. I'm going with this little lipstick one, and I'm just going to cut it into a small piece that's not much bigger than the barrettes. I'm now just going to clip the barrettes to the paper. I think that this adds a cute little touch and it just makes it more presentable and cute. So here are the extras. We have little candies, the sticker, the Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer, the clips, and the gourmet gum. So I'm just gonna put all of these extra little goodies into this little bag. I think I got this from Walmart in a set of like 50 for really inexpensive. It was a really good purchase. And the last thing I'm adding to the goodie bag is this little business card. I love my little business card, so I'm just gonna put it in to the goodie bag. I'm also gonna be putting my little postcards into the package, and these are all the things that are gonna be ready to go into the package. So I'm going to be taking my clothing items that I'm selling and I'm just going to lay them in a way that I'm going to package them. I'm just making sure that the logos or anything aren't going to be creased so that they can be in the best shape when they arrive to the customers. And then I'm just going to put the clothes into the package. I like putting them in one at a time because I think that it creates less lumps and it's just easier to put the biggest thing in first and then the smallest thing. I'm putting in all my extras. As you can see, I put the little hand sanitizer in a bag just because I knew that if it's going a little bit further, it could be traveling by airmail and I don't want it to explode with any of the high altitudes. So I'm putting it into this bag so that just in case it explodes, it doesn't explode onto the clothes or any of the extra goodies. It's never happened before, but I just like to take that precaution just in case. So now I'm just sealing up my package. As you can see, I'm trying to get as much air out as I can because the air adds more volume, which will add to the shipping cost. So now I'm ready to get measuring. So I'm measuring 
the length, the width, and the height of the package and I'm measuring how much it weighs because you need to know how much it weighs and the dimensions for when you go and type it into your shipping provider's website and print a label because that determines the shipping cost. I use Canada Post Snap and Ship, but you can use any shipping provider you'd like and you can also go into your post office and get the post office worker to do it for you. I just like to do it online, especially because we're trying to social distance, it's just easier to get it done online. Once I have my shipping labels ready, I just go to the post office and get them to print it out and get it shipped. That is pretty much the video guys, I hope you enjoyed, make sure you check out my other Depop related videos if you are interested in opening a Depop shop, I have some tips on starting a shop and another video about packaging. I hope you have a great day, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video, bye!